Hiya BookTube, Bill Rutenberg here with the Rutenberg Library. Come to you with a, another bookshelf tour. Uh, we're going to head into the second bookcase of the upper room. Uh, the lighting is a little bit darker. Uh, I apologize for that. The, the, the light in this room is actually straight over my head and it, uh, it puts a nasty glare off the old dome. So uh, I decided just to kind of turn the lights off, the light off and open up the blinds and hopefully this is enough light that you can see. Um, but anyway, this, we're gonna be on the top shelf of the second bookcase in the upper room. So let's go ahead and get started. The first book on this shelf is Strikeout Story by Bob Feller. Now, uh, those of you that don't know, Bob Feller was a, a uh, baseball pitcher back in the 40s and 50s, and, and uh, he, he was from Iowa, so he's kind of a local guy. And so this is an autobiography, and it was done in 1947 by the A.S. Barnes & Company uh, publisher. And so, uh, nice little bi uh, autobiography on one of Iowa's most famous athletes. Matter of fact, he probably, it, it'd be amazing to know how many major league records he would totally own if he would have not lost uh, several years in uh, having to do military service. And that'd be kind of interesting to know because he lost a lot of time. But anyway, next book on the shelf is The Geronimo Campaign by ODB Falk. This is kind of a neat cover. And this book is, is a Oxford University Press out of New York, and it is from 1969. And so that's the, the, the history of the Native Americans and the Indian campaigns and stuff in the Wild West. That's, that is something that I've got several books that I've collected, and I just haven't gotten to where I've had time to read them and I would like to really kind of dive into that sometime in the future and um, it's it's just kind of a goal of mine all right here's a book on one of the greatest Civil War generals uh, it's called Stonewall a biography of John, uh, General Thomas J Jackson by Byron Farwell and this was originally the biography I was gonna read next and until you know, the other day I found I found that other biography on him down on the bottom shelf uh, by Burke Davis. I'm going to read that one first. But uh, this was the original one that I bought, and uh, I was excited to have that, and I'm excited, still excited to read it. Um, this one is from W. W. Norton and Company out of New York and London, and it was printed in 1993, and so that'll be a good one to read. As I've told you before, these shelves don't have much rhyme or reason to the way that they are, that the order of them. So please don't try to figure that out because I, I don't know. <laughs> um, anyway, next book on the shelf, Lyndon B. Johnson, The Exercise of Power, a political biography by Roland Evans and Robert Novak. There's the authors. And this is a, this is from the New American Library, and it was printed in 1966. Lyndon Johnson, quite the controversial president. Next one on the shelf is Ari, The Life and Times of Aristotle Onassis by Peter Evans. All right, and I showed you the other day another book that I had that was on Jackie, and there's Jackie on the front cover. And this is from Summit Books out of New York, and it's a 1986 book. This is part of that collection I told you about the other day with a bunch of books that I got on Jacqueline Kennedy and Aristotle Onassis. Here's a book I picked up at the Dollar Tree for just a buck, being a baseball fan. I've told you about, you know, sometimes they have really good deals there. Um, Mookie. The Life Baseball in the 86 Mets by Mookie Wilson with Eric Sherman. 
and there's a forward by Keith Hernandez. And uh, when I was a kid, he was one of the guys we collected cards for. Pretty, pretty popular ball player, Mookie Wilson. And this comes from Berkeley Books out of New York. And it is 2014. Again, I got that for just a buck. Being a baseball fan, that was, I thought, a pretty decent deal. Well, here's a... Joseph Ellis book, After the Revolution, Profiles of Early American Culture. I have not read this. I've read most of my Joseph Ellis books. I have not read this one yet. And look forward to it. Most of his books are about the same, you know, about the same size, 250 to 300 pages. He is a very good author. This is a W.W. Norton and Company 1979 book. And this one's called The White and the Gold by Thomas B. Uh, Costain. Costain. And I do not have a... Let's see if we can get it to where you can see it. There we go. I don't have a dust jacket with this. This is an older book. It's kind of beat up. It's from our public library when they were sorting through stuff. It is from 1954. And it's Double Day and Company. Publishers out of Garden City, New York. So this shelf is kind of a mix of old and new. We'll get to some newer stuff as we move down the line. Uh, next book is Patton, A Study in Command. And this, let's see, is by H. Esme. Uh, and is Charles Scribner's Sons out of New York. And it is a 1974 book. And uh, not real big, but I got some other ones that are a whole lot bigger than this one. They're on down the shelf. All right, so here's a history of Latin America, a new and revised edition of a brilliantly readable history of our neighbors from the Indian beginnings to the latest political crisis by Hubert Herring. And this comes from New York, uh, Alfred A. Knopf. And it is a 1961, nope, excuse me, 1967 book, 1967. Uh, it's been reprinted several times. But, uh, you know, History of Latin America, I've gotten that one pretty cheap. Another baseball biography by one of my favorites of all time. The, it's called The Luckiest Man, The Life and Death of Lou Gehrig by uh, Jonathan Eag. And Lou Gehrig, of course, is, was one of the greatest first basemen of all time. A phenomenal hitter. He, he uh, got to hit right beside uh, Babe Ruth. And so oftentimes he did not, he, he got a lot of at-bats because they were, they were afraid to pitch to, to Ruth, so they pitched to Gehrig instead, and of course he made them pay for it. Uh, but he was a phenomenal hitter, phenomenal first baseman. It's a Simon & Schuster book out of New York, and it is from 2005. So I really look forward to reading that one. That might be one I get to this summer. Um, I've had this a couple years, and I might get to that this summer. All right, here is The Worst Hard Time by Timothy Egan. All right, and it's the untold story of those who survived the Great American Dust Bowl. And, of course, uh, you know, here in the Midwest, uh, this is a pretty tragic event. Maybe not right here in Iowa, but, you know, a little further south and, and west of here. This is a pretty tragic event if you get down to the the. Texas, Oklahoma, Kansas, Colorado, that, that area where all the states meet. The, the Dust Bowl did a number on them. This is a uh, Mariner book out of, from Huffton Mifflin Company out of Boston and New York. And it is a 2006 book. And um, I think that'll be a really good read. It was a National Book Award winner. Next book on the shelf is The Western Story, Fact, Fiction, and Myth by Philip Durham and Everett L. Jones. And 
It is, let's see, Harcourt, Brace, Jovan, jo, Jovan, Jovanovic, uh, out of New York, 1975. And it's just got a bunch of, I think, short stories in here talking about, uh, you know, fact, fiction, and myth, just like it says in the, in the uh, title. Next one on the shelf is The Lessons of History by Will and Ariel Durant. Or Durant. I've heard that actually said both ways, pronounced both ways. Not 100% sure which way is correct. But uh, it's a Simon & Schuster book out of New York, and it is 1968. It's a very, very thin volume, as you can see. Um, but I did start that one. It was a pretty interesting, pretty interesting book. I just never finished it for whatever reason. I had it, I put it by the wayside and never got back to it. Now, here's a more of a, a hefty book from Will Durant, uh, The Life of Greece. The, it's from the story of civilization. And this is a, let's see here, Simon & Schuster, New York, and it's from 1939. So it's got some age to it also. It says, being a history of Greek civilization from the beginnings and, a civiliz and of civilization in the Near East from the death of Alexander to the Roman conquest with an introduction on the prehistoric culture of Crete. And so, uh, you know, kind of an older book, but I, I believe his writings still stand the test of time. All right, here's another one uh, dealing with Native American history, history of the Indian Wars of the Far West. 1815 to 1875, The Massacre of the Mountains. It's by J.P. Dunn, Jr. Again, sorry about that glare. It's much, but the glare off the window is much better than seeing the glare off of my head if I had the light on up above. So please just bear with me on that. Um, Capricorn Books out of New York, and this is a 1960 nine book as well this edition is looks like the copyright was originally 1886 so this is a older text um, newer book but an older text getting towards the end here um, this is from uh, Hugh Downs or no excuse me he's the introduction for this uh, my America, what my country means to me by 150 Americans from all walks of life. So it looks like it's a collection of a bunch of stories that in Hugh Downs uh, was the editor of the entire thing. This is a, let's see, a Lisa Drew book from Scribner out of New York, and it is 2002, 2002. This is a nice large print book, and Looks like it's just got a lot of different authors in here, a lot of different short stories. Here's a book I picked up quite a while back, uh, Bush World, Enter at Your Own Risk by Maureen Dowd. Uh, she's a Pulitzer Prize winning columnist for the New York Times. I'm not saying this one, I don't believe this one won the Pulitzer, but uh, she had won it before. And so here's, here's that book. I have not read that. I picked it up. Thought it looked interesting. This is from G.P. Putnam's Sons out of New York. And it is 2004, it looks like. 2004. Here's one I read at one time, and it needs to be a reread because it was in college when I read it, and I don't remember a whole lot about it. I remember it was good, but I don't remember... The, you know the details it's, uh the presidency of harry s truman 1945 to 1948 conflict and crisis by robert j donovan um and pretty famous historian and like i said i read it in college but i don't remember much about it it was early in college uh and as you guys well know sometimes the early life in college is not always the the most serious part of your college usually that's towards the end and i was no exception so this is from ww w. norton and company out of new york and it is a 1977 book 1977 book i took a class on the american presidency and we had to read a biography and this was the one i chose uh, matter of fact my teacher 
my teacher kind of looked at me weird simply because I picked a book that was so thick. I guess everybody else was picking really thin books, and I picked that one, and he, he asked me, are you sure you want to read one that big? And I said, sure. <sighs> I got through it. <laughs> anyway, next book, Liberty and Union, The Crisis of Popular Government from 1830 to 1890, and this is by David Herbert Donald, very famous historian. Does a, did a lot of did a, uh, some work on Lincoln. He is very very good at his craft. And this is from Little Brown and Company out of Boston, a 1978 book. Matter of fact, the next few books are David Herbert Donald books. So here's another one from David Herbert Donald, winner of the Pulitzer Prize for Biography, Charles Sumner in the Coming of the Civil War. And I very much look forward to reading this book. This is one that I got. It's pretty much brand new. I can't remember if I ordered it on... I'm guessing I got it on Amazon. I can't remember for sure, but I'm pretty sure that's where I got it. Uh, it's a Source Books Incorporated from Naperville, Illinois. And this is a... 2009 printing. Of course, he he wrote it a lot earlier than that, but this is a this is a reprint. Still very good though. I in my collection I don't have to have the originals. That's I mean the first editions. That's not a big deal to me. Um, here is David Herbert Donald's Lincoln. Of course, that was a pretty awesome book. Says let's see here, won the Lincoln Prize. I wanted to say it won a few more awards. I don't know for sure without looking, but it won a few other awards as well. And I know uh, Steve, I want to say Steve Donahue mentioned this one on his channel. This is a touchstone book. Uh, let's see here. And this copy is from 1996. 1996. Uh, very good, very good book. I look look forward to getting that one. It's a pretty or get to reading that one. It's a pretty famous uh, Lincoln biography. And then there's another one, last one on the shelf, by the way. Thank you if you've stayed with me to this point. Um, it's called Ethnic American Second Edition from Leonard Dinnerstein or Dinnerstein and David M. Uh, Reimers. Reimers. Not real sure how to say their names. Apologize for that. It's a very thin volume. This is a Harper and Row Publishers out of New York, uh, 1982. So, there you have it, folks. There's the second bookcase and the top shelf. And I hope you enjoyed this, this um, bookshelf tour. And be sure, if you did, be sure to check out my other shelf tours. I'll put the link to that down in the uh, description. And thank you for watching my video. Have a great day.